Today, I'm going to show you how to spawn in and use the transponder tracker and transponder nodes so you never lose a dyno again. What's up guys, I'm Fatty McButterpants and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to spawn in a transponder tracker and transponder nodes and show you how to use them. Now this isn't anything new, but being able to spawn these things in at will will be a big help to a lot of people so they don't lose any dinos. Have you ever had this scenario happen? You're flying along on your dino, nothing's going wrong, all of a sudden you either die or jump off your dino and you have no idea how to find it again in the sky. Well, having one of these transponder nodes on that flyer will show you exactly where it is so you can go get them. If you guys don't know how to use admin commands, go ahead and check out the card up top and there will also be a link in the description. But otherwise, let's get into it. All right, so both the transponder tracker and the transponder node are unlocked at level 66 and they both require you to make them in the fabricator. They both have one prerequisite and that is the GPS. Now the transponder tracker requires 30 cementing paste, 25 crystal, 80 electronics, 20 metal ingots, and 50 polymer. Now transponder nodes require a little bit less as far as materials are concerned. Transponder node requires 12 cementing paste, 12 crystal, 14 electronics, 3 metal ingots, and 10 polymer. Now once you have some of those crafted up or spawned in like I'm about to show you, all you have to do is take the transponder tracker and place it in your hotbar down there at the bottom and your transponder nodes should automatically load into it. So when you select it, you will have in your left hand the transponder nodes and in the right hand you will have the transponder tracker. From this point, all you have to do is get up close and personal to the dinosaur you want to track and press the left trigger and that will place the transponder node on your dinosaur. Then, to test it, just simply back away until the name disappears and press the right trigger. And there you go, Rock Drake level 1506, 13 meters away. All right, so now to destroy the transponder node, simply approach the dinosaur with the node, go to the inventory wheel, select options, and then go to destroy transponder. And there we go, the transponder is now gone. So let's show you guys how to spawn these things in for yourself. The first admin command for the tracker is GFI space weapon trans GPS, all one word, space one space one space zero. And the number you want to change to change the amount you're spawning in is that number one right there. Once you're done, hit enter and then look on the left hand side of the screen after you have administered that command and you'll see them spawned in. There you go, transponder tracker was spawned in. Now there's a second admin command for this as well. Some people have trouble with the GFIs and that is give item NUM space 372 space one space zero space zero. And that number one is the one you wanna change if you wanna change the amount in this command. So let's go ahead and hit enter, issue the admin command and look on the left hand side. There we go, another transponder tracker was added. Now for the nodes, what we wanna type in is GFI space trans GPS ammo space one space zero space zero. That number one is the one you wanna change to change the amount spawned in. So let's issue it, there we go, one transponder node was added. There's also a second admin command for the transponder nodes and that is give item num space 373 space one space zero space zero. And that number one is again the number you wanna change to change the amount you're spawning in. In my case, I'm going to change this number 1 to a number 10 and then issue that admin command and look on the left hand side of the screen, 10 transponder nodes were added. A couple things to note with these transponder nodes and one is that you can be anywhere on the map and still locate your dinosaurs. As you can see, I was pretty far away on the map there and you can see my dinos, they're all bunched together so it's kind of hard to read but it looks about 4,026 meters away from one of those dinos. So I'm extremely far away from those dinos right now, but you can still see them across the map. And last but not least, these transponder nodes even work on wild dinos as you can see I placed one on a wild manta here. Here are the admin commands used in this video guys. Those gold numbers are the numbers you can change to change in the amount of those items you are spawning in. And if you do not have the engrams unlocked for these items, 
Make sure you either purchase them or type in give engrams as an admin command. And if you are not on single player, make sure you type in cheat and leave a space before any of these commands will work. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. If you guys have any ideas of things you want to see spawned into ARK, leave those in the comments down below because some of the best ideas come from you guys. I am Fatty McButterpants, and I will see you guys next time. Click the box up top for a full playlist of all my admin command spawning videos. Click the bottom two boxes for some more videos you might like.